All right, so I just started digging, poking around to see what was actually down here. We're cutting this post like I was showing you in another video and we're replacing it, but it's a good thing we are replacing the concrete. Cause if you look what's happening, this is older degraded concrete. It's uh, snapping very easily. And uh, that's what was holding up this post that's holding up this little section of roof, right? So again, you could see all they did was over pour it and it's all crumbling away. And that was just from barely tapping it with the shovel, right? That's all little chunks of concrete in there. See that? Uh, so it's definitely, definitely a good thing that we were replacing it. Plus, regardless if this is ground contact approved pressure treated lumber or not, it's just not a good idea usually to have your concrete in direct contact with the uh, post. Um, I would normally at least wrap this with some kind of Vicor tape or something, right? And then if it was ugly, like sticking up the top, then cut it flush. Uh, and that's just to help keep the concrete from direct contact with the lumber, right? That's just same thing when we do a foundation and we would do our mud sill, we put the sill sealer down and then we put our uh, mud plate on, right? To me, it's the same idea here. I would at least wrap the bottom of this with tape. Um, that being said, the new bracket has a one inch standoff right there, right? And that'll keep us up off the concrete, nice and solid. 